How are you guys? Excellent, excellent. So this is an incredible honor to be here tonight and to be represented and uh, acknowledged by the dyslexic community because I've been acknowledged by other communities and it's okay, but to be acknowledged in the dyslexic community, now that's something. So you've got to imagine me for a second as a 10-year-old girl walking through the streets in New York, crying, with this little piece of paper balled up in my hand. And I get to my house, and I climb up to the sixth floor, and my mom opens the door, and she sees the tears in my eyes, and I hand her this piece of paper, and she unwraps this piece of paper, and as she can see on the top of it my diagnosis of dyslexia. And I feel like this diagnosis is something that's going to separate me from other people, to make me feel isolated and alone and insecure. And she looks at me with tears in my eyes, and she says to me, congratulations, and welcome to the family. <laughs> I sort of wish she'd said, after spending a day at the lab school, congratulations, you're going to the lab school. <laughs> but she said, congratulations and welcome to the family. And this diagnosis qualifies you for an amazing adventure on this planet. And the price of admissions is that school is going to be difficult. And it was. I saw my peers walking through academia, which to me seemed like a brick wall. But with the encouragement of my parents and the identity I felt coming from a, a family full of dyslexia, dyslexics, I felt as though I had the confidence to find and scale this brick wall till I could find an edge. And what I know now is that all walls that I come across in my life have edges. And this is something that dyslexia gave me. And that's an incredible strength. My son, our son, yesterday got his first assess, uh, what is it called, assessment? Neuropsych. Neuropsych assessment. And he's probably going to be dyslexic, if he's lucky. And I'm going to show him this. I'm going to say congratulations and welcome to the family. <laughs> 